Hello and welcome back to Coding Cafe. My name is Mohammed Ali and in the previous video tutorial as you know that we allow a user to add products to the cart. Now in this video tutorial we are going to create cart activity and we will retrieve the products that the user add to the cart. I mean from the database we will retrieve it and we will show it to the user on the cart activity. So yeah let's do that. So first of all let's close these. Okay and now I'm going to create another one. So new and activity empty activity the name of our this activity will be cart activity now click finish so it is created successfully now let us go to the xml file and here first we need to change this constant layout to the relative layout and now we are going to add another relative layout match parent wrap content the background color for it will be color primary dark and it must be at the top so you can say align parent top to true and now inside this relative layout we need a text view match parent wrap content and this text view here we will display the uh, total amount for all the products which will be uh, inside this cart so we can say total price text color must be white so we can say android white text size must be 20 sp 20 dp will be good and let's give it some height so 50 dp will be good text alignment at the center and let's maximize it and the margin from the top can leave it don't give it margin from the top and I by mistake here first of all we need to change it to the content and here I mean to our this relative layout we have to give 50 dp uh, layout height okay now we can give the margin from the top and that must be 10 dp so that it can here at the center so yeah that's it now after that we need to uh, I mean outside this relative layout we need a button so we can say button match parent rep content it must be at the center, I mean at the bottom, so we can say align parent bottom to true. And background for it must be color primary dark. Text here we can say next, I mean to the next, that is whenever the user uh, decide to purchase, let's say two or three item, items, then he will click on this button, and after that, we will uh, I mean place the final I mean basically a confirmation the final confirmation that is the product will be delivered in uh, given amount of I mean the required time basically and the text color for it will be Android white text size 20 SP 20 DP and if you want you can give margin for this button from all the side that is 10 dp but that will not look I mean it is totally up to you whatever design you like for this okay so you can see I think the design looks perfect now we need a, we need a recycler view here so that we can display the products I mean the products that will be available in the cart of that specific user so we can say match parent match parent let's give id to this and we can give it uh, id to it as cart list it must be below the this relative layout so let's give id to it so we can give it id like rl11 i mean you can give any id to it because we need to move this recycler view below it Oh, sorry here you can see this 
let's remove this uh, layout margin for the button so that the button must be at the bottom and uh, this is our we need to move this uh, uh, recycler view above so you can say above and we must give the id of this button to it so you can say you can give it name as next process button and paste that id here so this is our recycler view where we will display the items on i mean what the cart list basically also let's give id to our this total price underscore price now let's go to the cart activity we have a recycler view let's give it a name as recycler view recycler view dot layout manager layout manager private relative first of all we have a button that is our next process button then we have a text view which is for the total amount so you can say txt total amount and here in our own create you can say recycler view find view by id part dot id dot cart list recycler view dot set has fixed size to true layout manager equals to new linear layout context is this recycler view dot set linear set layout manager layout manager then we have a button and this i mean so next process button next button and after that we have txt total amount total price now the next thing we need is a layout for the i mean for displaying the items to the user so for that uh, here we can simply say new layout resource file and we can say cart items underscore layout and click ok and come here and first of all we need to change this constant layout to relative layout and it will be layout with match parent and this will be i mean the height must be rep content margin from all sides must be 10 dp and we need another relative layout match parent match parent let's change this relative layout to card view that will be good and let's give it card elevation and it must be 15 dp in here we need a text view also first let's give color color primary dark and now we can say with this is for displaying the product name so you can say 160 rep content text and here we need to display the product name text color white let's zoom it so margin from the left 5 dp is good after that we are going to add i mean another text view for displaying the product quantity how much products the user want to purchase i mean for that specific product item basically let's change this to product quantity and align parent and to true so here you can see this let's just come here and click on this product quantity here you can see we need to move it little bit i mean here here you can see this okay 
and now we can give it some margin so we can say margin from the right 5 dp let's make the text style to bold also here text style bold let's copy paste this this one will be good i mean and here we need to display the product price and remove this this thing and now first let assign id to one of these so that we can product name then we have let's give it proper name that is cart product name and let's copy paste this here i mean we can say id paste this and change this to product quantity and the last one is this one it is product price and this must be below perfect i mean we can give it gravity which will be center and change the layout height it is a content and it must be also now match parent okay this like that let's give it some padding i mean to or this relative layout which contain all these three text views so we can set 10 dp and uh, for it we can say margin from the top must be 10 dp so now it looks perfect this is our design for displaying the products or you can say items on our cart list to the user you can see this i mean this is perfect so yeah in this video we create this cart items layout and we also create and design our cart activity so now in the next video tutorial we will retrieve the products i mean the items from the cart list here on our this activity so yeah, that's it for this video and if anyone is new to our channel then please subscribe our channel calling cafe thumbs up for this video and see you guys in the next video bye for now